Hi, are you ready for a quiet story time? We're going to read a couple bedtime stories today. Our first one is Good Night Little Sea Otter by Janet Halfman, illustrated by Wish Williams. Little sea otter snuggled on Mama's chest. Mama fluffed her fur until she looked like a brown powder puff. Then it was bedtime, but little sea otter wasn't ready to sleep. I forgot to say goodnight to the harbor seals, she said. Little sea otter waved her soft, silky paw towards the rocky shore. Good night, harbor seals, she squealed. Good night, little sea otters, they snorted back. Then loud barks bounced across the waves. Oh, I can't forget the sea lions, said little sea otter. Good night, father sea lions. Good night, mother sea lions and baby sea lions. Sleep tight, little sea otter, barked the sea lions. A seagull swooped down to check out the commotion. What's this ruckus about, squawked the seagull. It's bedtime, Mama said. Good night, seagull, her little pup called. Well then, little sea otter, good night, squawked the seagull, flying off to find a good resting spot. Okay, time to lie down now, Mama said. But before she could say another word, little sea otter dipped her furry face into the chilly water. Good night, orange fish and yellow fish and purple fish, she said. Good night, striped fish and spotted fish. Good night, long fish and short fish. Good night, little sea otter, all the fish bubbled and blurbed. Who else is down there, mama? Little sea otter asked. Mama named creature after creature. Good night, sea urchins and sea stars. Good night, clams and crabs. Good night, snails and sea slugs. Little otter called to them all. Look at them all. Good night, little sea otter. The entire ocean sang back to her. Can you see them all? Little sea otter waited for the very last good night. Did I miss anybody, Mama? Yes, you did, she said, scooping her up in her paws. You missed me. Oh, good night, Mama. With little sea otter tucked into her chest, Mama rolled over and over in the kelp. Soon, they were both wrapped in ribbons of seaweed that would keep them from drifting away during the night. Uh-oh, Mama, I forgot to say goodnight to the moon and the stars, said little sea otter. Good night, moon. Good night, big star and little star. Good night, little sea otter's eyes slowly closed. Good night, little sea otter, cooed Mama, kissing her furry head. rock a -bye, whispered the sea. rock a -bye. Look at that going to sleep. Our next book is called It's Time for Bed. And I'm going to try to get closer because this is a much smaller book. Turn this out a little bit. There we go. Written by Susan Riley, illustrated by Vinnie Powell. Oh, nighty night, it's time for bed. It's time to sleep, my sleepy head. So pull your blankie up real tight and close your eyes and say, nighty night. May happy dreams dance in your head as you snuggle warm in your bed. 
Yes, dream of toys and friends and play and dream about this happy day. And dream of cakes and candies too with hopes your sweet dreams all come true. The moon is out, the stars are bright. It's time for you to say good night. Good night. <laughs>